eyes. Gaze straight on into the sunset from our villa rooftops. Countless diversions await. Gamble in our casino. That's a way out after you break into the Sierra Madre's vault. Try to leave. I'll set off your collar. And cater to your every whim. So if life's worries have weighed you down, if you need an escape... Watch out for the villa inhabitants. They're difficult to kill unless you chop them apart. If you can, blow them up or disintegrate them.
Turn the noise off. Dog's cage is simple. 
Take my voice to the cage above. Let me speak to the beast inside. Then you and I, we can talk. Dog, back in the cage. Dog, back in the cage. Dog, back in the cage. What have we here? You weren't who I was expecting. I'm disappointed. Still, even if you aren't my intended guest, you take direction. Good. You can't have been an idiot to figure out how to release me from my cage. Or perhaps you are, with that leash on your arm, and the one around your neck. With our collars and manacles, why, we may as well be kin. The carving's a reminder for mirrors and for dog. Dog, who you heard coming in, howling and hungry, as always. I've been trapped in here for some time. Then you come along and let me out. So, you opened my cage for a reason. Now, I want to know why. That's the easy explanation. The one humans use. Pre-war technology, as if it's the cause of all ills, mind and body. I needed to come out of the cage to protect Dog from clever humans like you. Do you see these wounds of his covering his skin? The bear trap on his arm. He placed his own hand in it. The name he carved in his chest. To remind him of who he is, he inflicts pain on himself to silence me when all I try to do... <sighs> he cuts, hurts, and tries to murder me out of him. He won't succeed, just makes me angrier. Dog is the beast. We simply change cages, like the ones here. No. No, I don't think so. Even in here, I have more control than you do. I'm not leaving until the one who controls the collar shows. Not his voice, not his hand, not his lackey. Him. And when he comes to see me, we'll settle things. So go on. Go back to your master. Tell him I'm waiting for him. Dog may follow him. I won't. <laughs> Dog? You're not talking to him now, are you? No. Even if you could drag Dog out of his cage, you still couldn't get him out of this cage. I put him here for a reason. If he could have escaped, he would have. So here he stays. Of course you can't. This cage is locked tight. From you and the old man. The key? Why, it's the old man. The one who brought us here. I hid the key on me so Dog wouldn't know. I just need the old man to show up, so he and I can... talk. If Dog was in control when the old man appeared, well, he would just do whatever he commanded, as always. And I can't have that.
They were here when I arrived, so I made use of them, in a manner of speaking. More their voices, really. These collars, they don't just track us. You can eavesdrop on them as well. Tune to a frequency, and you can hear everything someone is saying. So perhaps it's a good thing that Dog swallowed his collar. Anyone listening would find it difficult to hear past the digestion. No. Why did I lock him in the cage? I locked him in because I could feel him getting hungry again. There wasn't much time. If Dog roams, he gets into trouble. Eats things he shouldn't. Listens to others he shouldn't. So he's safer in here. We're safer in here. I hoped if I locked him in here, the one he obeys would come for him. Instead, I get you. It's close. Closer than I'd like. Dog's been into things. Needs to think before he eats. Chew before he swallows. He's... eager that way. Now the collar's a part of me. Inside. I can feel its electronic heartbeat clicking and burning down below. Like before. It was cold and heavy before going in the cage. Now you're here, and it's pulling and kicking again, tugging like a leash. Interesting. Really? Yet it led you here, to me. And now you're here, and it's burning a hole in my guts. Maybe it's crying for its owner. They detach. When segmented, they look like nothing more than metallic rad scorpions. And if they're attached to neck flesh, warm, red. Dog doesn't care what's on the body he's crushing in his hands. He'll mangle it, twist it, make it fit until he's full. Dog can't help himself. Hungry. Greedy. And now the collar's inside, alive again. And we're trapped here until it goes cold. As if I had a choice. Sometimes instinct takes over, and that's when I go into the cage. It's like curiosity that way. After all, you wouldn't have put that collar on by choice. Perhaps it was your curiosity that caused that hand to close on your neck. Of course you do. And so do I. Dog obeys, yes. Why? Do you have some means of contacting the old man? You... Don't play it. If you do, I'll find a way to get out of the cage. End you. I'll murder you. Crush your arms and legs until... No. No, no, don't. I'll make you suffer for this. I promise you. Although it may not matter. I suspect the Sierra Madre will be reward enough for ones like you. Master, the dog not hear you come in. Too hungry now. At cage door. Master, dog is listening. Now you are close, and he can hear you over hunger. Master, dog is here. What does master want? Dog. Dog doesn't have a... Here it is. Dog. Dog didn't know it was there. How did it get there? Yes, Master. Master sounds different. Quieter. Master. 
Dog doesn't want to be in the cage anymore. Dog will be good this time. Dog promises. Yes, Master. Dog waited a long time. Brought you many people. Dog will follow. Isn't the clever one. What do you want? Dog is better at the baser instincts than I. I merely have the brain for it. His sinew and muscle are difficult to move consciously. He's always hungry, clumsy, heavy. Orders. For me. This should be good. Tactics. Why don't you let me worry about that? You just follow along. I'll take care of you. As long as I am in control, fighting is difficult. I'm not the beast he is. As long as you don't get yourself killed. Good. You were starting to bore me. <laughs> 